Okay, I will proceed things tomorrow, but I want to cover one very important thing today. Dramatized inter in interviews, people are asking it. Okay, so see, I have. <coughs> okay, it may be the important one for uh, uh, to understand. Ma. Understand the the uh, back end of approval. This this topic will help us to understand the back end things of approval. Okay, group approvals. Right. So here I am selecting a group. In the up in the group table, you have a group option to select. So in the group approval record activity, you have a group field to select. Okay, you selected it. Okay, and in the user also you have a group. So here also you can select it. So in this case something like this okay you have a group here right why can't i take for this purpose why can't I, why can't i take user approval activity and then add a group why i need to take a group activity you got this question ma see user approval activity is there approval group activity is there very good approval group activity is only holding group to select that means group people will get the approvals and then anyone can approve it like this right this is good but in user activity also you have something like a group selection right so yeah so what is my point is for second one also i can take this only you know, select users and then select a group i don't use i don't select any users this is also having group i can directly use this one now why i need to use group activity this is my question. You got the question, everyone? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, see here, the answer is... Okay. There are two important tables with respect to approvals. Okay, approval user activity approvals will go and store. See here, open this whenever a record a system is generating an approval record, the record will actually store in this table. So, see here, approvals two approvals are there now. It is going to down same table, sys approval underscore approval table. Correct, yes, no. You see, yes. so for this RATM, two records are created in this table, right? This is what the meaning of it. Yes, no? This one is clear? Yes, no? Please confirm it, ma. Yes. Ah. Okay. So there is one more table called group table. Okay. So here, this also is same, but approval group activity will create a record here. Okay, to this group, to this group, to this group. Okay, this is the definition of this table. Correct? So, if I have second level approval, do we have second level approval, group approval record for any one of the, so like this, this one. Okay, let me see. I can show you one example, but uh, RATM, no? RATM. Ah, so, yes. Okay, let's open this one. Okay, as per this RATM, Right, so, so the second level may be the first level is one user. Okay, maybe open it. Okay, this first level is maybe one user. Uh, yes, uh, okay, I think everything is one user, second only. I think it is only having second. So it created the approvals. Okay, that group is having 10 members, it looks like. Or one, okay, this is first level and this is second level. Okay, first level is a manager one. Okay, second level is a group members. Okay. So, the second one is created one group approval record and all the users of the group are approvers. This is the functionality. Okay. Simple. This is also simple. So, now, till this point, everyone clear? Till this point. This is group. If you create approval group activity, it will write one record under this table. Sys approval underscore group table. Is that clear? 
please confirm yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay now now okay what is the simple point is if i don't use group activity but if i use user activity and then add group there okay i will not get one extra record here okay i will not get one record where is the group one ma? this is the group i will not get the record here it will directly create users like this anyway it will create but it will not create a group one that's it because it is not coming from approval group activity it is coming from approval user activity correct is that clear ma yes okay so just observe it you all you will understand so here approvers are general even if it is coming from group if it is coming from users everything will be recorded here but if it is coming from approval group then you will be getting one extra here that will not be coming if you use approval user activity and attach a group to that that is the only difference why don't know <laughs> why we use that way why you use this way okay i am i didn't really don't know but the difference is this one and generally the observation is okay we have a group here then why we have additional group activity separately is a question important interview question you got the question huh? the question is meaningful question right so here what is the meaning of like you have a group approval group activity separately but why you have a group here what is the significance of this group this is the question yes no the only difference is uh, it will go to that uh, resist underscore approval group the only that difference if i right? use group activity it's it will group. go uh, if i use group activity it will go to sys approval underscore group record group. yeah if i create user activity and then add a group this extra one will not uh, groups this extra one will not create this okay. record will not create but approvals will be created yeah. that's that is there mm. yeah okay. that is the only simple thing that's it no other difference okay okay